What's up, y'all? It's her. What's the word? The person who don't know what he want to do on YouTube. He just all over the place. One thing is DoorDash. One thing is this. One thing is that. One thing is installing garage. Then the next video is probably going to be something else, you know? But anyways, you know, I'm kind of I'm free right now. I don't have no big audience right now, so I can get, do what I want to. And nobody really ain't going to say nothing because not too many people know me so it's just like that not too many people know me oh what i want to bring to y'all attention today though is doordash now i have i have done about three thousand deliveries so far and i know y'all don't want to hear from somebody who just started probably done 50 deliveries 100 deliveries when i'm doing doordash i'm usually making like when i'm doing doordash for a long week a full-time, you know, full-time job. I'm getting about a thousand dollars, eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, fourteen, fifteen hundred. You know, it depends on how many hours you put in. So that's what I'm going here to tell y'all, and I'm gonna give y'all five steps on how to make a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars or a thousand to fourteen hundred. You know, if you can make fifteen hundred, but you gotta work all day. So I'm gonna let y'all know that right now before y'all get into this video. If you wanna make fifteen hundred, you gotta put in that work. You just can't expect to do part time and just let the money come to you. So if you want to make this money, you got to put in work every day like you working overtime at a regular job. But, you know, I'm finna go ahead and tell y'all. Oh, number one, you want to door dash in an area with the most restaurants. So you don't want to door dash where there's no restaurants because how you going to get orders? Only way you're going to get orders is, you know, you about seven miles away and you got to drive that far. But even that will waste time. If you know where, know where near a restaurant, you will waste time going there. And then you probably got to go back the same way. So it's always good once you deliver that order, it's always good to head to the closest spots with the most restaurants. Number two, refresh your app. So you know how I, when you trying to close the app and you just swiping up, you just swiping up trying to close all those apps. So when you dashing, that's what you got to do to door dash. You got to swipe up, close that app, and then you have to open it back up. And I don't know, you know, I guess it, you know, when you do that, keep track of your location and let you know you still active. I really don't know for real, but once you do that, you start getting orders again. So if you ain't getting no orders, if it's been about 30 seconds or a minute, or whatever since you haven't got no orders because once i drop off this food if i'm near a lot of restaurants and i'm not getting orders i'm gonna swipe up and close it because a lot of times doordash is too busy to not get no orders for a minute two minutes or something like that so if you near restaurants make sure you go ahead and swipe up close that app and open it back up so number three don't wait at restaurants for more than 10 15 minutes no way i'm waiting for 10 to 15 minutes when you wait for 10, 15, 10 minutes, you know, time is money. That's all I got to say. Time is money. So if they haven't came out, you know, within that time, it's most likely that, you know, you're going to waste some more time. And then you're going to say, maybe they coming out with the next, you know, in the next five minutes, maybe they're going to come out with the order. And they still haven't came out with the order. So you wait again and they still haven't came out with the order. So it's better safe than sorry. What I usually do, I usually make sure I don't cancel the order until I walk out because I don't want nobody saying, here you go the order for blah, blah, blah. I'm be like, dang, I already canceled it. So I usually cancel it when I get in the car. And that's when I cancel it because I don't want to regret canceling. And they say, here you go, as soon as I'm finna walk out. So anyway, make sure you ain't waiting for 10, 15 minutes because once you cancel that order, you might get a bigger order or you might get the same type of order, you know, instead of wasting time at a restaurant and you know, you waited for an hour or so and you still only made $7. So no, just wait five, you know, some people wait five minutes, some people wait 10 minutes, some people wait 15, you know, it's, it's all, it all depends. But let me tell y'all something. But your percentage have to stay the acceptance rate don't matter it don't matter how many it don't matter if you decline to take an order or accept the order that ain't what matter you know you can have a zero percent one percent i say one percent acceptance rates rate that ain't gonna matter you know what what matters is the completion rate so if that completion rate what i heard so far you know sometimes DoorDash dash update stuff but without you know 
it's probably still the same. It's most likely still the same. You have to, you have to stay above a 80% completion rate. So make sure you stay a 80%. So before you cancel that order, make sure you ain't dropping, make sure you ain't dropping below a 80%. That's all I want to say. So don't wait for that long. But if you have to one day, you know, you might just have to stay for that long to make sure DoorDash don't fire you. Before, do the stack orders. And what I mean, stack orders, double orders, that mean when you gotta go to two different restaurants and deliver to two different customers, or you go, sometimes you can go to two different restaurants and deliver to one customer because they order from different restaurants, but it's the, you know, it's the same person. Sometimes you gotta make sure you open up, you know, once you see the La map thing, you gotta see, you know, where, where you gotta go. So it have two restaurants and then they have one home. So I love taking them orders right there be, because it, it, it's just good, you know? But you gotta make sure you be careful because sometimes you can get a $7 order and it might say, go here for, you know, go to these two different restaurants and then drop it off to these two different homes and you only making $7, seven miles. Don't, don't take that, you know? because that's only about two three dollars for seven miles i i don't want to take that that's just me personally if you want to take that that ain't too bad you know seven dollars seven mile so what i do is the um mile to dollar ratio so i usually if it got more dollars than miles i take it so if it got ten dollars and ten miles i might go ahead and do that and i like long drive because i like listening to my music so i might go ahead and do the ten dollar ten miles but if it said eight, nine dollars for 10 miles, I won't do it. If it say 15 dollars, nine miles, 15 dollars, 11 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Because like I said, it's a dollar to mile ratio. So I'm gonna make sure that that money is up there and the miles is below there. So that's what I wanna say to that. Go ahead and just do them double orders cause that's more money, especially, like I said, especially if it's delivering to the same customer, but you gotta go to two different, two different restaurants, take them stack order. So number five, if you pull up to a restaurant and they say the order not ready yet, just go ahead and text them and let them know that you waiting for the order. Sometimes they see you at the restaurant and they say you at the restaurant and they say restaurant is preparing your food, but just let them know why it's taking so long. So once they say that, you know, once the restaurant say that the order not ready, go ahead and be like, hey, I'm waiting. Whatever you got to say in your own words, you know, you might say something better than me. Cause what I usually say is, I'm gonna be there shortly. I'm still waiting on your order or something like that. But use your own words. Cause you might say that one word they might say, you might, they might let them know it. Oh, shoot let me get them an extra five dollars let me get them ten dollars thank you for keeping me updated you never know so i ain't gonna tell you what to say said in your own words just like anything in life make sure you do it your own way because every way don't work for everybody you know so make sure you do it your own way keep the customer updated let them know that you on their way whatever usually do it dash let them know all that but if you just you know waiting at a restaurant let them know what's going on or let them know that, hey, do you want ketchup? Do you want a fork, spoon, whatever? I think fork, spoon, common sense, depending on what they got. But just let them know, see if they want anything. Sometimes I'll put a fork, sometimes I'll put a spoon up in there if they haven't, or, you know, I gotta make sure if they got a drink, drink I gotta make sure, you know, I get them a straw if they ain't put it in a bag already. That's number five, make sure you keep them updated on the order. This night in the steps, but I'ma let y'all know to, you know, every time y'all get the order, or every time y'all pulling up to a restaurant, see what they got. You know, see see everything that they got. A lot, a lot of times these restaurants won't put something or they forget a drink. The main thing I, if, if I can't open the bag, the main thing I make sure I get is the drink. Because you obviously can see if they missing a drink if you look at the thing. So just make sure because you might drop it off and the customer might say, hey, where my drink at? You sure it ain't in your car? You sure it ain't? You, you stole my drink? No, I ain't steal your drink. They often will be mad at you and give you a bad rating, but you gotta make sure, you know, you do. So just make sure you double check, check the receipt, double check the order, whatever you gotta do to keep yourself from all that drama over there. Let them, you know, 
I'm happy. Leave me alone. What Plyer say? I'm happy. Leave me alone. So make sure you stay out of there. Make sure you double check the order and go on about your business. You feel? Okay, now it's time for the pros and the cons. So I would say the pros of doing DoorDash is you you on your own time. You know, you don't got no boss telling you what to do, telling you when to come in, telling you, hey, hey, like, you can't take vacation. You can't take a day off. I don't care if you got COVID. Hey, you gotta you gotta come in and work for me. You know, some people some people be on that man. They don't care if you stick. So that's the pro. You can make how much money you want to. Like, if you want to stop and take a break or whatever, and you say I want to make an extra forty dollars, you can. You know, I know some bosses to tell you can't work overtime. You know, this and that. If you need extra money, you, you know you can go on, you going out there and dash. You can do stuff on your own time if you want to go out of town if you want to do this you want to do that you can do it yeah you can do it you can do it on your own time on your own time that's all i gotta say so the pro is your time the pro is make whatever money you want to make that day you know it can be 200 be 300 it, it depends on what area you in you can make 400 probably cali you know, I know i know cali y'all getting that money up there door dash salute to y'all i know y'all getting that money i got move cali i know the traffic horrible so i don't know how it is but i know y'all getting that money Atlanta, I know y'all getting that money. I know, I know Charlotte up here, you know, they getting that money down here. So it also depends on what, what I mean, it also depends on what area you in. Cause you know, you really can't compare the money, you know. Okay, now everybody know the kind. Everybody should know the kind. Like guess, guess what it is. <laughs> You're right. Your car, the miles on your car, everything. If something go wrong, you might need you might need an oil change. You might not have the money. I don't know. You might need, you know, you get a flat tire. Your engine go out. You can't you can't dash it out because your engine went. It don't you know. Um, that's the that's the kind. So that scare a lot of people away. If it wasn't your own car and DoorDash just gave you a car, I feel like a lot of people would be doing it. But the truth is, you know, a lot of people just worry about the miles, which, which me, I kind of worry every time I get in my car, you know, but I think, I think about the pros. I think, you know, you can do your, you can, you can work on your own time. You can make your own money, you know, you can do all that. So every time I think about my car, I just think about that. And also a lot of people might think this is a waste of money, but also you could rent cars now. You know, DoorDash got partnerships where you can get discounts and you know, you can get a car for about 200, 300 a week. I know that's a lot coming out your pocket though, but I only recommend that to the people that's doing full-time, you know, full-time DoorDash. The people that's putting in work, putting in that work, they gonna get it, you know? I think it's a good option for full-time drivers because you can know, you know, you can, if the car go bad, they got to fix it. It's up to them to fix it. If anything go wrong, you know, even if they got to exchange you a different car, that ain't on you. But I will say, they just don't be swerving in their car like that because they will know. And they gonna be like, oh yeah, you're not getting another car from us, you know? So yeah, that's the kind, you know, using your own car, putting on your own mouths. I understand that. And a lot of people gonna be wondering why you doing it and why you putting all these mouths in your car and why you why you listen to them because the mouths don't da da da. You know, and the gas going, I wanna say the gas going down. I know, you know, you were spending so much on gas, but the gas is going down and when you know when when gas going down, you know, it's a good time for door dashes because they don't gotta worry about putting two hundred, three hundred, a thousand dollars in their tank. You know, the prices is ridiculous. I would tell y'all that them prices, but gas going down, so it's a good time. It's a wonderful time. You know, it's a wonderful time to do DoorDash again. So yeah, that's all I really had to say. You know, y'all got the five, six steps. Y'all got the pros, the cons, and whatever I did miss, miss. I hope a lot of DoorDashers are watching watching this. 
y'all can put in the comments what else can help them you know get the new the new door dashes get paid more even the vets if you feel like you ain't know a lot all this if you feel like you ain't know all this, you just got it. So anybody, if you feel like I missed something, put it in the comments. You help everybody, you know, help everybody get this money. You know, help everybody get this money. Don't be afraid to help people. DoorDash will limit how many people is getting up in here. You know, they will, they will put you on the wait list. So don't be afraid to help people. You know, it's still money out here for everybody, you know, and that's all I got to say. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe after watching this video because you already know, you already know, you already know that Herb is the best YouTube on Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Skirt! Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, if you made it to this part, you just got the bonus because everybody probably ain't see this video right now. And I forgot one thing, so I'm sorry for the people that just exit out the video. I won't feel bad anyway, cause they probably don't even know it's a little bonus. So whoever looking at this right now, don't forget to DoorDash during the peak hour. So DoorDash always having these promos. So they might say $2 extra when you deliver it from 9.30 to 11. They might say, hey, it's an extra dollar, extra $2 every delivery for a door dashing in the ring. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. Get that extra money because man, these orders be like $15, $20 every delivery. Like they don't be, they don't be playing. They be tipping. DoorDash giving you base pay, which is DoorDash regular pay, and they give you the little bonus. So $2. So that that all can add up to about $15. And then next thing you know, you're making $30, $35 an hour. So make sure I'm glad y'all made it to this. That means y'all really love me. You know, if y'all made it through, you know, this whole video and looking at this right now. So now I'm out of here.